Okay, this is how I water and take care of my orchids. So, if you look here, here's an orchid and it's supposed to have this plastic container. And mine has slits in it. I just ordered these off of Amazon um, when I was repotting my orchid, but that helps. So these green bean looking things are the roots. Um, and they go down into this potting mix, which is like, it's a mix of bark and charcoal. Um, and it helps to kind of keep the roots moist, but not like waterlog them. So it sits down in this pot here and this part of the plant is called the crown. Um, and this brown part is a leaf that dried up and was done, spent and came off. So you can pick these off. I just haven't done it yet. Um, but more roots will come out of the crown here. And if you see all of these roots coming out here, these like tubey looking things, these are called aerial roots. And aerial roots are what come out that are above the, um, the bark. So new roots always come out of the crown of the plant and the older roots are like down. So as the plant grows up, new roots come out. And so when you repot it, like let's say in a year, um, you would set it down further into the mix. Um, and then it'll start to grow new aerial roots out of the new growth. Okay, so to water these, there's kind of two ways to water orchids. There's the immersion watering where you fill the reservoir up. So like you take this out, you fill up water like two thirds halfway, warm water, cause it is a tropical plant. Um, and then you just immerse the plant down in there and let it soak for like 10 minutes. And then you come back and pour all that water out and set your plant back in. Now, I'm not good at the immersive watering because I always forget to come back after 10 minutes and drain it off. And then my roots have been like sitting in the water and get soggy. So what I do is I just turn my faucet on warm water. Sorry. So I turn my faucet on with warm water and I'll, I'll show you how to do it. And I water around the edge and try my best not to get this crown area wet because the crown of the plant does not like a lot of water. That can cause something called um, crown rot. Okay, so here we go. Get warm water, I'll turn it down just a bit. And then I'll take my orchid out here and just water around. Now you can get these aerial roots wet and they go from like a silvery color to a lighter green. Then I'll move it around, water this area. I'll kind of get all of these aerial roots wet and just kind of give this a good soak, trying to avoid that crown area of the plant. Okay, and then once you can see, you can see it's all getting wet, the inside of the plastic there. Okay, so then I'll kind of like give it a good shake. I'll turn off the water. Give it a good shake and you can see in there all the roots. If they look like a good green, like I always think of green beans, then your plant's good and it is hydrated. So. You know, every few days you can just come in here, pull your plant out, check the roots, see how it looks. If they're still that nice green, then it's fine. If they're starting to turn that silvery color, let me see if I have one. That is silvery to show you. 
Those, the roots are gone in. Maybe this little one here. Okay, yeah. So this little one is really dry, too dry right now. See how the roots are this like whitish silvery color that and the bark, like you kind of shake it and the bark you can tell is dry in there. So this one definitely needs to be watered. And I've let this one go a little bit long. Um, the leaves start to get like a wrinkled look, just a tad. That's the way that you know it needs water. So I'm watering this, kind of getting it all, doing the best I can not to get the base of that plant, the crown. Soaking it, kind of shaking it out and it's good. Now, your blooms that you have right now, yours are white, they will last. So these have been in bloom for like a month and a half. And here's like this, the spike that comes out. Um, so yours will eventually dry up and fall off. That doesn't mean the plant's dying. That means the blooms are spent. It's done with the blooming season and it's gonna start to begin the vegetative season which is when it grows these little leaves out of the center. Um, then that'll stop once the leaves are grown and it'll go into blooming season and it'll grow this spike out and start to grow the little blossoms. So mine has, this one has just gone out of the blooming stage and see I had it kind of propped up here, but here it's all dried and I've, been letting it dry out because then I'll go down here and just with clean scissors clip that right at the base and then you just keep your orchid and grow more leaves and that'll help the energy and growing more blossoms the next season um, you can look up and see like when orchids bloom it's kind of hard to tell because when you first get them from the store they um, are in a greenhouse and they're being like forced to bloom um, out of season so that they can sell them. So it'll take a little while. Like this one I bought within the last year and I bought it blooming. So um, it's gonna take it like an adjustment period and yours will too to um, kind of get acclimated to the weather here since it's not in a greenhouse and it's in your house. Um, and then it will get on its own blooming schedule and you will, um, you'll kind of figure that out as you watch it grow. So some tips. So here is kind of like the setup. You can get these little pots like on Amazon, I got them. You can get them on, you can even just use like food containers like yogurt cups, but it's nice to have this clear, um, clear pot so you can see the roots and see if they're green, if they need to be watered. Then you need some type of a pot to put it in. Um, yours already comes with it, but this is for like when you need to repot it. And I would say when it's starting to get a lot, like this one needs to be repotted because there's a lot of aerial roots coming out and those would benefit more with being down in the pot in the bark. So you can get one size larger um of these plastic containers um you need orchid mix this is this potty mix it the brand doesn't matter i just ordered like what was cheapest on amazon but as you can see in there it's this like bark charcoal what's the third thing oh perlite to help with like fertilizing it so they say you're supposed to repot orchids every six months, but I kind of push it to a year just because I don't think that it needs it every six months. They've been doing just fine. Um, and then I do use this orchid food. I just ordered this on Amazon too. I think it was like five or six bucks. Um, and it'll tell you on there, mix one tablespoon per gallon of water 
and apply over the soil. So, um, and you can do this every two weeks. Sometimes I do it once a month. Um, if it's in the vegetative state where it's growing new leaves, I'll do it, try to do it every two to three weeks. If it's in the blooming stage and it doesn't need as much fertilizer, then um, I will do it like once a month. Um, so I just take a gallon jug of like water. Um, you can just use water from your sink um, and fill it up. And then I just keep it here under the sink and I will, instead of watering like a normal water that week, um, I will do that jug of water around there and then just pour out the excess. Um, so yeah, now once it starts growing the little spikes up, it'll come like from either out here or under this leaf here and it'll start to grow up. And then you can put these little chopstick skewers in there and then clip these, just like you have clips already, so you'll probably be fine. But if you do happen to need more clips, I've got a little jar here and I can always give you some. So I think that's everything. Um, I will send you a link to the woman that I like to watch on YouTube about orchid care. And I'll send you kind of like the best, the top videos that are like repotting it. That's an important video to watch, but um, otherwise it should be fine. Um, it, it should do just fine as long as you just check it and water it. I would say at least once a week, maybe every three to five days, check it, make sure it's got that green look and it's good. All right, good luck.